I'm Marlene Leroux and I'm the chairperson of the Desmond and Leia Tutu Legacy Foundation. Today is the 27th of April and it is the Freedom Day of South Africa in 1994. On this day, we casted our first vote as people of free freedom for our country. And it was so befitted that we had the Tutu Box launched today at the Granary. And thanks to Vincent, Benny and Roger and Richard. And Vincent, who is the visionary person behind this project, it's not just a project, it's a project about humanity, respect, dignity, and about how we need to look at the world with humanity and to see how we can install in our young people that as the world we need peace, we need to come to understand each other, that we can unite in our diversity. And hereby today, we would like to say that the Archbishop Desmond Tutu has really fought bitterly and hard through his faith that we as a country can really say today we are a country that can cast our free vote but we are also a country on a journey to humanity and Vincent who is our friend from the Netherlands is assisting us with this tutu box on starting with this particular journey that we can share the values what the tutus have stand for and will stand still in the future through the Legacy Foundation that we can share this with the world. Thank you. <clears throat> it's been a great honor uh, for me to work on this project. And uh, if I tell people what I do in my life, I say I'm a contemporary storyteller. I tell stories by art because the interpretation of art is for every person very human to see, powerful in colors, and that's what people like. So most of my cases are in the public spaces because we always say, don't bring people to art, but bring art to the people. So the public space is wonderful to use it and to tell a story and a background and history, cultural background, that's very important. And here in this particular project, all these elements came together as well. There's this beautiful arch with his background, what he did during apartheid, what he did after apartheid, and also to mention Mr. De Klerk, of course. Uh, he, he has been fighting as well to tell the world there's much more. So we have got freedom fighters, and that freedom fighting you only can do because you do it from your heart, and you're a human being, and you want to help the world to getting better. And that is when I was very fortunate to meet uh, the Arch 12 years ago. I was very fortunate to meet Benny Gould six years ago. And I was very fortunate to meet Richard Scott. That's 15 years ago now. And there I created a mix in the end when all my visits here to Cape Town and to South Africa that we say, wow, what can we do with this beautiful archive of photos from the photographer? He was always around. He was always around. So he kept pictures that for no one... Of course, if you've got a, a press conference, you see the picture, but the picture behind and the picture behind the person, Desmond Tutu where he brings in his humanity, we thought that would be beautiful to share it with the world, starting with that archive of Benny Gould, transform it into contem contemporary paintings from Richard Scott, and that beautifully worked out. Then you've got the photos and the uh, paintings, but then still, it's not a concept. So we've been thinking about a concept, what's unique in the world, and unique in the world was there was no international art box like this. There are art boxes, there are art boxes with a book inside, there are art boxes even with a print inside, but we sourced the whole world and this is really the first 
art box where there is a story in a book and part of that book is in original photos and these original photos are transformed in original prints. And that makes the, for us, it makes it very unique, but to tell the story and to show the box that can go around the world, yeah, I think we've created something very special. For us as the foundation and South Africans, coming from a very brutal background, is also to share how peace and how you can use humanity to bring people together in telling their stories. And if this tutu box can help other nations, that we can use our faith, not as weapons, but as peace tools. If we can use the arts of bringing people together to be in touch with their humanity, then we have achieved small steps. And this is what it is about. So Vincent, thank you very much. That yep. art speaks to people and that the arts is the humanity in itself that we can touch each other's hearts not taking away who you are but gaining from each other's backgrounds thank you can i add something uh, because we're talking about humanity but what art have teach us is it's not only humanity but also humor and fun yes. so humanity and humor and you can uh, create peace with humor and uh, there there's one quote from the arts and it's a very funny one when this journalist asked him but Mr. Tutu why did they honor you with the Nobel Peace Prize and you know what he said he said well I think because my name is very easy to pronounce <laughs> around the world Tutu everybody can say well, that is what people love and that says more than telling you may not shoot that guy or you see and experience with people that humor is very important. And well, the arts is by far number one for me using that humor. Thank you.